Well, for every success story in life, whether it's business success or being successful as an inspiration for other people, it's never smooth sailing. There's always a couple setbacks along the way. Hi again, I'm Burt Barron and welcome to Be Inspired. And I'm Lisa Anderson. So happy you could join us. We're going to introduce our next guest in just a moment, but the Be Inspired series, we'd like to thank Photo Center in Brick and also Mike Obertlick from Keller Williams in Shrewsbury for making this episode possible. Our guest who is with us here today, he is the president of Stonehenge Licensing Consultants, creator of so many fabulous national brands that I'm sure you're well familiar with. Most notably, Jerry Garcia Arts in Neckwear, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and also Faith for All. I am so honored to welcome Erwin Sternberg to be inspired. Erwin, welcome. It's great to have you on the program this time. Burr, burr, really good to be here, my friend. Nice to meet you, Erwin. And you as well. Listening to you guys, are you're pretty cool and really good. Well, thank you for being here. Overnight success, Erwin. Yeah, I we wouldn't know. say you were an overnight <laughs> success. Would we, or, or, or did success come quickly and easily for you? No, no, not at all. By the way, be inspired. What a great name for this show because it's um, a way that listening to some of your guests to share the stories of their peaks and valleys and the the problems that they have gone through and turning their lives around again and continuing to do great things and inspiring people. So kudos, good for everyone and good for you. Yeah. Human interest stories are always the best. Oh, they're because, the best. And a lot of times, like we said before, you you think you're alone in what you're going through sometimes in life or you have a setback and you think, well, nobody would un- ever understand this. You'd be surprised. Well, <clears throat> I certainly have had my setbacks and uh, and it's not any one time. It could be throughout the years. And, and I'm going to tell you something. I, I, I don't think I've ever said maybe some of the things I'll, I'll share with you because they were so difficult for me to overcome and because this is about inspiration and inspiring people. So for any children out there, any kids out there, any, any young adults out there or anyone, uh, <clears throat> when I was growing up, I went back a year in school because of of um, illness. I had asthma and I had some surgeries. But back then, they didn't let you go forward. Right. They sent you back a year. So through my entire junior high school years and high school years, I literally hid because all my friends went forward and I was in this very slow learning class. I was embarrassed, but I became the class clown. Everyone loved me, but really through it all was hiding what I was afraid of. When it was time to go to college, I had friends of mine that ran over to me. Where are you going to college? I swear to you, I never thought I could even go to college. The moral of the story, I ran, ran home. I asked my mother. She immediately tried to get me in, into a college. No college accepted me. And there was one college in Baltimore called the University of Baltimore. Back then, it was an OK school. Today, it's one of the great law and business schools in the country. They accepted me. They took me. I barely graduated I don't know how I graduated. The moral of that story, about 12 years later, I was the Entrepreneur of the Year, where they honored me, the Entrepreneur of the Year for the University of Baltimore. I love it. So that's overcoming some fears, yeah. but it was only because of what your last guest said, a mentor that I was inspired by. And he really made me believe that I could do anything in the world. And I absolutely believed it. And as I went forward in life, and thank you for the kind words that you you shared, we created some of the most popular brands in the world. Jerry Garcia Neckwear. I never, ever could have ever done that, ever, with what happened in my life. And uh, that was only one from the beginning. But as soon as I felt that need that I could grow and that I can do it, I felt that I was an inspiration to others. And I I never looked back, and I only went forward. You're a great example, Erwin, of what I like to think of as the boxer mentality. Hey, it's okay. You're going to get knocked down once in a while. But if you go down three times, get up three times. And, and stay in that ring and keep fighting. And that, that's kind of what led to your success, right? Jimmy Valvano, if we all know who Jimmy sure, Val- sure. Valvano, the great late coach, we did the Jimmy V ties. And one of the reasons why we wanted to do that, which became one of the number one selling neckties in the country, his motto was don't give up, don't ever give up. Don't and there was a man up, who right? worked for me. He said, why don't we do something that 
inspires everyone. I wanted the ties to become the inspiration of hope. Whoever purchased the ties to never give up. And a portion of the proceeds went back oh, to the ESPY Awards. And I presented a million dollar check because of the proceeds at the ESPY Awards. And his motto was, don't give up, don't ever give up. Everything that I've ever always believed in. So again, for anyone listening here, listening to you and these great stories that inspired me, anyone who has any problems out there, no matter who you are, race, religion, family, financial, drugs, find yourself someone who, who admires you and believes in you, and they will get you through any hurdles that you can go through. And sometimes all it takes is one. One person. One. Yeah. Uh, totally yeah. only one. We're going to continue our conversation with Erwin Sternwer- Sternberg coming up, including a major, major setback that you bounced back from, Erwin. I want you to share that story, too. Mm-hmm. Say hello, hello. Man, it's been a long, long time. We'll come back, but in just a moment. But first, Be Inspired would like to recognize Photo Center in Brick, family-owned and operated since 1977. The Photo Center carries a full line of digital cameras, camera accessories, and hosts photo classes and workshops, too. Information on Photo Center in Brick, available by going to photocenter.com. Also, thanks to Chain Gang Pro Performance Clothing a new local company focused on providing activewear for your active moments. Check out their story and line of products at ChainGangPro.com or follow their journey on Instagram or Facebook by searching ChainGangPro. Be Inspired would also like to thank our sponsor, Mike Obertlick from Keller Williams in Shrewsbury, New Jersey. Mike Obertlick services Monmouth and Ocean County, so if you plan on moving to Monmouth County, you got to go to Mo. You can list or sell your home by calling Mike Obertlick at 908-216-0551. Hashtag got to go to Mo, a realtor you will grow to love. Erwin Sternberg is with us here this time around on Be Inspired. Uh, he has donated millions of dollars to charities across the globe. Uh, across the globe. And uh, during his career, uh, a medical setback for you, Erwin. And uh, what inspires me is the way you were able to come back and uh, inspire so many people and uh, share that story, if you would, with us today. It's another thing not many people uh, I shared this with, which is probably many of my friends back in Baltimore never even knew it. Um, <clears throat> I was on top of the world. We were one of the most successful Neckwear companies in America, doing wonderful things, helping charities all over the place. And every product we ever created, we gave a portion of the proceeds about. Nice. While having um, uh, some minor dental work, I suffered a stroke <laughs> under, um, under the anesthesia. Wow. And as I sat there in the hospital, I never... Th- thought I was ever going to walk again, see properly again. And I knew my life and my world was collapsing. I was in the hospital with all of the love from my family and my friends. I had one friend that called me and my family said they didn't want to tell him because he would be devastated. So he calls me and he said, he started crying. He said, Erwin, if anything ever happened to you, I don't know what would I would do. And as he got off the phone, I started to cry as I looked up at the ceiling. And I said, I'm going to beat this. I'm going to get through this. And I don't think it was through medication. I don't think it was maybe a little therapy, but I almost 100% overcame that stroke. But out of bad comes good. And your audience listening, hear this also. It's really important. No matter what problems we all have, you learn through those problems and out of bad comes good. The interesting thing when I was at Kessler Rehabilitation Center, that was about the same day Christopher Reeve had his accident, and he was in the next bed next to me. They didn't have uh, beds for celebrities. I could hold out my hand, and we could touch hands. Wow. As bad as I thought I was, and as terrible as I thought my world was ending, I looked yeah. at Chris, and the only thing he could move was his eyes. I know, I know how terrible it was. Before I left the hospital... I had someone send him a tie. He had a trachea and everything. My friends were so upset with me. Why would you send Jim Christopher Reeve a necktie? Well, 
I felt that there was some reason why I had to do that. Mm-hmm. It was a Jimmy V tie. <laughs> and on the back of the Jimmy V tie, it said, don't give up, don't ever give up. So I wrote on the back of the tie, dear Chris, whatever you do, don't give up, don't ever give up. Moral of the story, about a year and a half later, all my friends who thought I was crazy, I launched the Christopher Reeve Neckwear. Wow. We raised lots of money for the Christopher Reeve Foundation. And Chris and Dana Reeve came to my press conference wearing wow. the tie. So there story. is your example to everyone listening out there. You can be, be inspired, but never give up. We all go through our peaks and valleys. We all have our journeys in life that may not always be the best. And maybe some of them may never, ever happen. But uh, find someone who believes in you. Find someone who admires you. And you can walk through any war- doors at all. You know, and I can, if I can share one more thing. I get a call from someone. The Dalai Lama wants to meet with me. Oh, and I fly cool. <laughs> to Indianapolis. He heard about the things that we did. Wow. And we did a program, Ties to Peace, and uh, it was to help Tibetans with, with um, health needs. But I guess the, the one you mentioned at the beginning of the segment, um, Faith for All, I will say this. Out of all the many great programs we've ever done, by far, for the last three or four years— I've been working on this one, and I think it'll be the best that we will ever have accomplished. It's called Faith for All. It's the first time I've been working with many people throughout the years where now someone will be able to wear one's own apparel or walk into a room and be completely surrounded by your faith because your spirituality will now be able to be woven into the fabric of your cloth. Wow. And this is now this is now launching Faith for All. And I've got to tell you, it'll be for religions all over the world. And it'll attract millions of people worldwide. So I'm excited about that. That's fantastic. Uh, or when they say in life it's difficult to achieve success, but even more difficult to maintain it. What's your life like now? What's a day like for you nowadays? Looking at others that have problems, trying to figure out what I can do, sometimes not much. Trying to also figure out where I need to be and what I want to be when I grow up. But one thing I will never do, no matter what we create and no matter what we do, there has never been anything that we won't continue to um, uh, raise proceeds for the pros- for the programs we create. That's, that's and and in this one with Faith for All will be all of denominations. That's a beautiful legacy for you to, you know, have others remember you by. But you're a relatively young man. I'm this not is as a, young as you think. Carry it well. <laughs> this said you had to be relatively young to have this stroke. And I think it's sheer will that allowed you to come back and want to be where you once were. So, Lisa, I can't even tell you when one is stricken with an illness. I heard this story earlier about a young girl and you have no idea. I'm sure you do what we all go through. And I, my world was ready. I was ready to give up. Sure. And I think if it wasn't for Chris mm-hmm. looking at him, realizing I wasn't really that bad. Right. And that call that someone said, you can't do this. That's my what I want to do today. There's no coincidences, only fate. So I truly believe that fate yeah. brought you and Christopher Reeves together. I think of him often. I do. I think of, uh, you know, how what he must have gone through and him and his wife. So if you could go back to your 10-year-old self, 10-year-old Irwin, what would you tell him? Don't change. Don't change. I loved I loved being that class clown. I wasn't smart because I didn't, after I went back a year, I never studied. I was so devastated. Sure. I was embarrassed, but no one knew that. They only knew that I was this great kid and I was the class clown. And, but from there, so many acclinades and so many wonderful things. I've been honored the Father of the Year for the National Juvenile Diabetes Foundation. Mm-hmm. Ernst & Young honored me the Entrepreneur of the Year Award. I can go on and on and on, but guess what? 
whatever that was, it doesn't mean anything because it's, like you said, 10 years, mm -hmm. of course it means something. It's all love and precious to my heart. But what it means now is what do you do today? How do you move forward today? How do you make it a better world today? And I do live by that. I truly live by that. Very inspiring words. And much like Christopher Reeve inspired you, Erwin, I have to say, you personally inspired me too. From the, the second I met you, I said, this is a special person oh, who was going to have such an impact and such a profound way of, of touching so many lives. And interest of full disclosure, uh, you, you've had a tremendous impact on me. And I, I can't tell you what an honor it is to, to be just sitting across the table from you today. So, so thank you for the impact you've had on me. Uh, share some final words of inspiration, if you would, for anyone who's joining us today. I will. But before I do that, I've seen you, I've heard you in the past, and coming from you, that's a tremendous compliment, so that's thank right. you. It is. I, I mean that very, this isn't a program where we're stroking anyone here. <laughs> this is someone that truly says, that means a lot to me. And yeah, yeah. should. Thanks. As far as inspirational words, I think I said it, don't give up, don't ever give up. Uh, if you feel that your convictions are true and no matter what people say, uh, like someone said, don't deliver that tie to Christopher Reeve. I did it and look what happened. Out of bad came good. Yeah. And the last thing, if I can share this last story. Of sure. Course. Another program, which I think you all enjoy, Mothers Against Drunk Driving Mad. We created the cocktail collection, millions of people around the world have that. I went to Mad's office. I said, in Dallas, I went, met with the president. I said, um, I think we have a great program that we can share with you that can help. After I told them, they didn't like it. They said, we can't use this. They told me to leave and come back another day when you think you have a better story. Well, this is why I just said, if you believe in your convictions, don't give up, don't ever give up. A month later, I went back. They allowed me to come back in. I explained it another way. The president of MAD came over. She had tears in her eyes because everyone at MAD had someone that passed away, a child, a father, a daughter, whoever. She put her arms around me. I'll never forget it. She says, I get it. I get it. Moral of the story, fast forward, a year later, my company raised $2 million from a portion of the proceeds that went back to Mothers Against Drunk Driving, making it the number one best concept MAD ever had, and I then was honored of uh, the Necro Manufacturer of the Year. So I could have walked away. This isn't me bragging, not at all. I could have walked away, but to your viewers, that woman said, no, thank you. I didn't give up. Believe in your convictions. Don't give up. Follow your dreams and pursue on your thoughts. And I think when your intentions are good, which they are from yeah. you, yeah. it has a way of working out. But before we go, I have to say... That tie is way cool. We well, got a show. There it is, Jerry Garcia. This, this is the first class, 1992. And by the way, I gave it up I after. Need a tie like that, that was made there. to be an HD right there. <laughs> you look at that. This what is the one of the beginnings. But I uh, just for everyone to know, uh, the tie. Even though ties, I never. After he died, I gave it up. But now that it's been given back. We've now licensed it out, and this year, Jerry Garcia Excelsior is going to have tremendous products from the food industry, from the wow. home industry. And I'm proud to say we're going to create that now. All right. Well, for women, I want a Jerry Garcia scarf because yeah, I can't walk yeah. around with a tie on. I so. promise you. Maybe yeah, I great could. look for her. Uh, <laughs> hey. Erwin, continued success. And again, thank you. You're inspiring generations yeah. of people. And it was great to have you with us here today. So Lisa, thank you again for joining us. You. Thanks. For Likewise. Thank All right. you. I'm Burt Barron. And I'm Lisa Anderson. And thank you for joining us on Be Inspired. Until next time. Thank you. Hosted by Lisa Anderson and Burt Barron. Director of Production, Rod Weber. Executive Producers, Rod Weber and Sean M. Sternberg. Creator and Executive Producer, Michael R. Doyle. Also, thanks to Chain Gang Pro Performance Clothing, Michael O'Bertlick from Keller Williams, and the Photo Center in Brick. <laughs>